sun witnesses, we put our backs on. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Osiron with special treatment, and now Outlanders from Sun King. Could the Sun King have her? Passed by some Outlander woman? Unacceptable. I believe in two hours and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliff. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well? Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. 
and quickly. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. That one.
Let's do this. Something there! I'll find a use for you. Can use this. That'll help. Can't be too prepared.
doesn't need that. Make this quick. Marad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. No sign of Marad's guy? He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right.
let Anora out. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Has to be Murad's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. like a sawtooth, but heavily armed. Great. I could use out here. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back.
after Vol's men. I'm glad to get over here. I hope so.
Looks with me. Nerval says you gotta eat dirt! to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Hard too. Ursa. Durval try to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> No. Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Erend, I'm... I'm so sorry. You've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll, uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. This machine's been picked apart with precision. What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? Durval's records, maybe. Just notes about crafting. Oh, and a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find Durval, too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. 
I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. Just a moment of your time, please. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. A Meridian? And my family, for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. Arrested too for disorderly conduct. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. I think. 
It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She's not the one who's suffering now. You are. She died before you could say goodbye. Is it that obvious? You're right. I'm dwelling on my pain, not just hers. And there's only one thing left that can help. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. You need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the sun hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. By the sun! King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. Adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. 
So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Those Banook are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. <clears throat> the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. It's a bomb, all right. Well crafted. Place. It must be leaking from something upstairs. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's... there's gotta be a way to stop it. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. So, is, uh, is, is that thing gonna go off? Maybe there's some way I can open this. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Ugh. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is not over. Duval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Duval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. 
He's finished. Guards, bring water or the fire might spread to the hunter's lodge. Road tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Can I interest you in a reasonable shot? Oh, yeah. Get, Get him a fire and shut up a bucket line! Oh, Take a look at these wares. You'll regret not stopping. I wouldn't believe what people are what charging happened? for a good bolt of blast like that. A moment of your time, Outlander? rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. He tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. I wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Quick, Carl. Saw me. Here we go. for later. me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner!
What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Sangha to kill. I can kill you, Christ. I've led an army, killed kestrels and rabbits <laughs> as savages. <laughs> Just stop here. <laughs> Why does Avad always have his lady? Why does Avad always have his ladies do the fighting? Yeah! I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan.
would do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. If you can get a machine to do it for you. Ah! Those majestic, murderous glint hawks. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now.
Watch out for the puzzle that emerges. They will soon cheat you as a look at you. Move along. You have no need to loiter around here. under the last king. Far cry from those days. <laughs> 